Hey guys, Nathan here. In today's video, we're covering how to prevent your carp rigs from tangling. If that rig tangles when you cast out, gets hooked around your lead, or gets tangled up, you have a 0% chance of catching any fish. But I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks here to ensure that your rig lands properly, is fishing effectively, so you have a 100% chance of catching that fish when it does come along. So this video is in our beginner series because these are the tips I wish I knew when I first started carp angling. There is many frustrating sessions on the bank I had where I'd be fishing for hours on end without a bite, only to reel in and find that my rig's tangled mess so I was fishing ineffectively at 0% of catching any fish and just pretty much wasting my time out there. Like many newcomers to carp angling in North America the first rig I learned to tie was a simple hair rig and I just used the materials I had around the house some um, simple monofilament line or braided line and that makes it very prone to tangling so these tips I'm going to show you today can be used with any rig any line and they will increase your effectiveness out there on the bank. So the first and most effective way of preventing the rig from tangling is to use PVA foam nuggets. These are just little foam nuggets that dissolve underwater. So you wrap them around your hook so it doesn't have the chance to get caught on your lead or have the hair wrap around the hook. And it prevents the hook from dulling as well when it lands on the bottom. And once these dissolve, your rig falls down gently and is presented perfectly pretty much every time. Now, I was doing some demonstrations in the test tank today with these and I actually found something out. The way most videos online show you to use these is you lick them, you wrap them around your hook, and then pinch them tightly and this squeezes all the air out of the PVA nugget. But I found this is making the nugget take about 20 to 30 minutes to dissolve in most of the videos I did. So I spent quite a bit of time at this today to find this out and I found the optimal way to hook this. So not only is this more effective, but it also makes these nuggets last a lot more because I found if you just use one nugget, it's way too buoyant and takes longer to dissolve especially if you smoosh it down around your hook. What I found is if you cut those nuggets into little pieces, I cut them into three pieces each nugget, and that creates the perfect size to just slide right in behind your hook. So you just put your hook point into it, slide it in like that on the nugget, and then as you see here in the test tank, I'll show it quickly, these take about a minute to two minutes to dissolve fully. They're off the hook and you're fishing effectively a lot quicker, and it also makes your PVA nuggets last a lot longer. So two bonuses to doing it this way. Now the second way to prevent your eggs from tangling is by using PVA. PVA mesh. This stuff comes in multiple sizes, multiple different brands. I've found the PVA hydrospool stuff to be the best I've used so far. So basically you have stick mix, boilies, pellets. You put them into the PVA mesh and this stuff dissolves underwater as well. So not only does it keep your rig from tangling, but it also provides a nice little freebie pile of bait directly by your hook bait. So it'll increase your catch rate that way as well. So if you have a stringer needle and you tie longer PVA sticks with either stick mix or breadcrumbs or something soft, boily crumbs even, um, you can thread your stringer needle through, pull your rig through and make sure that hook embeds in the end. That's the most effective way to fish these, but sometimes anglers like to put a little lead about an inch from the hook. So that prevents you from pulling the rig all the way through the PVA stick. Little trick I found out to overcome this is to just thread your needle. You can even do this with a regular baiting needle through the edge of the PVA stick tie your rig onto it and just pull the rig through at the top edge of the PVA bag and then you can hook the hook in the bottom. This ensures that your hook's buried in the bottom, not going to get tangled. The rig will travel along the side with your lead on it and then it'll also travel through the top of the bag so that'll prevent any tangles or that rig from flying around. So quick little tip there, if you do fish a rig with a split shot or a putty about an inch up from the hook, that's a great way to still use PVA mesh. So the easiest way is to use the nuggets. My favorite is to use PVA mesh just because it's so versatile and you can provide all sorts of free bait around your hook bait and just provide that added attraction that'll ensure you get that bite while carp fishing. So these are just a few quick tips for those beginners out there that don't know about these carp fishing specialty products and it should save you a lot of time on the bank and catch you a lot more fish. If you learned anything new in this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up and stay tuned because we got a lot more videos like this on the way. Thanks for watching.